Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. My name's Nathan, and for this tutorial series, we're going to be working on all the different additional features that you'll find in a mobile game, such as sharing, cloud saving, in-app purchases, and so on. Now I have done one video in the past talking about the plugin that we'll be using in this tutorial series. The plugin that I use is called the Cross-Platform Native Plugin Ultra Pack. Now before we begin, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updates when we publish new videos. Now the plugin looks like this on the Unity Asset Store. And the first thing that you might notice is that this plugin costs $32 if you're a Plus or Pro member, and it costs $40 if you're not. There is a free version of this plugin called Cross-Platform Native Plugin Lite version. However, with the Lite version, you'll be forfeiting some of the additional features that we'll be talking about in this tutorial series. The features included in the free version consist of gaining access to the address book, network connectivity, sharing, UI dialogues, and rate my app. The features included in the paid version consist of having access to the address book, billing, cloud services, game services, media library, network connectivity, notification systems, rate my app, sharing, Twitter SDK, UI dialogues, and web view. As you can see, there's a lot of additional features that are only included in the paid version. For myself, I bit the bullet and I paid $40 to gain access to this plugin. The great thing about this plugin is it allows you to do all these features for both Android and iOS at the same time. That's why it's called cross-platform. Without a plugin like this, then you have to dive into native programming for each platform. And a lot of times you're either not very familiar with either platform or you're only familiar with one platform. So you might be able to figure out these features for one of the platforms, such as Android, but then trying to figure out these features for the other platform, such as iOS, might be a lot more challenging. This plugin also has a lot of documentation on how to use it, and as well, a live Skype chat where you can ask questions. I also forgot to mention that this plugin was developed by Voxel Buster Interactive, which is not a sponsor, although they totally should be. Now that I've talked about the plugin that we'll be using for this tutorial series, let's get into installing it in our project. So here I have the Season 1 project open inside of Unity, which is the project I'll be using for this tutorial series. Remember, if you'd like to participate in the development of this collaborative project, you're welcome to join our Discord server, which is linked to in the description below. Now the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Asset Store tab, I'm going to do this by going to the Windows drop-down menu and selecting Asset Store. Once the Asset Store has loaded, I'm going to search for our cross-platform native plugin. And I want the Ultra Pack. Now since I've already purchased this plugin, you'll notice that this pink button says Update. If I hadn't purchased this plugin, then it would say Add to Cart. The nice thing about this plugin is that it's a one-time purchase. We originally bought this plugin for our Snake Cube game, but we're also able to use this plugin in any project we decide to create hereafter. So I'm now going to import it into my project by clicking the Update button. Once it's finished updating, the pink button will now say Import. Once you've clicked the Import button and you've waited for it to unzip the Unity package, you'll then have this window which will list all the different assets included in the package. I'm going to leave everything selected and then I'll hit import. Once the plugin is finished importing into your project, you'll have some new folders in your project window. Now there will be some additional setup for each feature, but as it says in the documentation for setup, all you have to do is download the plugin and import it into your project. It gives the additional note that if you already have the plugin installed and you're trying to update it, you want to make sure that you uninstall the plugin first and then import the new update. To uninstall the plugin, you go to Windows, Voxel Buster, Native Plugins, and then click Uninstall. To get to the main control panel for this plugin, we go to Windows, Voxel Busters, Native Plugins, and then Open NP Settings. That'll bring up this window in the inspector. 
Here you can access the documentation, the tutorials, support, reviews, subscribe, and save. It says we are currently under billing settings, which we don't want at the moment. We want just MP settings. So I'm going to click on that and that will take us back to here. We can then go to application settings and here is where you can disable and enable all the different features that you want included in your game. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to start out by disabling all of the features. I'll then re-enable each feature as we cover it in future videos. This is also where you'll set the store identifiers for both iOS and Android. I haven't set these up yet, but I'll do them in a future video. And the last thing that we need to do is hit save. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to use the cross-platform native plugin. I look forward to all the future videos of this tutorial series. Once again, I want to say that I'm personally grateful for this plugin because it makes life a whole lot easier. Rather than having to dive into native programming for both Android and iOS in order to get these additional features working, we can use this plugin to get these features working on both platforms at the same time. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.